Right, so I'd like to show you 5 plus 1 keyboard shortcuts uh, of, of the Across CAD tool. These are the most important shortcuts that you will probably use every time you work with this German CAD tool. Across is a special German CAD tool manufactured by a German company with the same name, Across GmbH, which is from Germany. And this tool is very popular in Germany among German companies and also uh, lots of translators who translators who translate uh, from uh, German into their respective language, they use it probably on a daily basis. So these are the most important and most useful shortcuts I use with Across every time I work with this CAD tool. So let's uh, get into it. Uh, let's take a look at the very first shortcut and this is Alt plus Page Down. Alt plus Page Down will do for you this uh, this is especially useful when you have a segment uh, where, which uh, contains, for instance, uh, some text that you would like to copy into your target segment. This can typically be, I don't know, maybe a name of a company or it uh, can be a name of a customer or of a product. So this is just uh, a string, maybe a couple of words that you would like to copy from the source into the target because you don't want to write it all over again and again. Also, in this case, I would like to copy this segment here uh, because it contains this bullet point. And I must confess, I don't know how to quickly write bullet points in Acro. So for me, it's just easier to copy it <laughs> and to use it in the target. So let's get into it. I just press Alt plus page down. And as you can see, it will quickly copy the source, which we have through here, into the target. So now I can just start translating. Yeah, I can start blah, 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 translating something. So this was the first shortcut. The second shortcut is Alt plus page up. So Alt plus page up is uh, very useful when you work uh, with, your, with your translation memory. So for instance, we can take a look at this segment here. Yes, yes. And uh, as you can see, this segment is uh, green, so that means it's already stored in the translation memory. And if you just want to pull it from your translation memory, you can just press Alt plus page up. And as you can see, it will pull it from the translation memory. As you can see, this is the target segment or editing area of our tagging segment. And uh, this is the translation memory. As you can see, it's a 100% match. Right. So next shortcut is Alt plus R. What does it do? Alt plus R will actually store your translated segment into memory and will confirm it as uh, translated. As you can see, each segment has uh, its icon. So for instance, uh, this icon means uh, it's already translated. This icon means it's uh, untouched. And this icon means it has been already touched. And uh, now I can just uh, quickly machine translate it. So I just press uh, Control plus space to use Bohemicus for this. And as you can see, I have machine translated it very quickly. And now I would like to confirm it. And I would also like to mark it as translated. So what I do, I just press Alt plus R. And as you can see, it's been stored into the translation memory and also marked as translated. Please see this icon, note this icon here. As you can see, it's different to, for instance, this icon. Right, and uh, the next keyboard shortcut is, what do we have here? Ah, Alt plus right arrow. Alt plus right arrow is uh, very useful when you have a text that is already partially translated. So it's, for instance, this text here, as you can see, some of these segments are already translated, some of them are empty. So let's say, for the sake of argument, you just work on this segment here, so you can just quickly translate it, and you would like to store it into memory with the already used uh, keyboard shortcut Alt plus R, so we store it into memory, and now we would like to go to the next untouched segment. So how can we do it? We just press Alt plus right arrow, like this one. And as you can see, it will jump from here to here, which is the next 
untouched segment. Right, so next one is Control plus Shift plus C. This is especially useful when you work with your translation uh, memory. So uh, let's say you're working on this segment here and uh, you would like to see, I don't know, in this case it's ridiculous, but let's say you would like to see how this term water has been already translated. So you can just uh, mark it, select it, and you just press Ctrl plus Shift plus C. And as you can see, it will find all occurrences of this term in your translation memory. Very useful. And uh, the very last one, keyboard shortcut is uh, Ctrl plus space. Yeah, well, technically this is not an Acros shortcut, this is actually a Bohemikos shortcut, but it will work in Acros, no problem. So if you press it, this Ctrl plus space, if you press it in uh, Acros, it will just machine translate your segment. As you can see, very quickly machine translated. Right, so these have been the six, the six uh, most uh, important uh, keyboard shortcuts of Acros I use almost every day.